To celebrate Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we sat down with Pink Drive, which is an organization that educates people on breast cancer. Megan Davies, a mammographer, says men too come to their program and get tested. We've educated up from 2009 till now, we've educated over 7,000 men. We've done over 4,000 clinical breast exams on men and we've referred 22 men for further testing. And what we offer is free clinical breast exams, we offer free um, mammograms, that's our breast cancer part. We do prostate cancer awareness, we do testicular cancer awareness and we do the cervical cancer awareness. And how people can access our services is, at Grotesquera Mitchell's plan they need to attend the breast clinic and the surgeons will then refer them to us for testing. And for clinical breast exams, they can come to our office in Valgravia, but they do need to make a booking to make sure there's a nurse available to do the testing. David says that people should understand that cancer does not discriminate and anyone can be diagnosed even if there is no family history. Honestly, cancer does not discriminate. It's not race, gender or age. It can affect anyone at any time. So I wouldn't give you an answer on that because it can affect absolutely anyone. They need to do a test every month and they need to do their own self-examination, breast examination. And it needs to be done 7 to 10 days after your period. If you don't get the period, do it every month at the same time. This is one of the most important tests when it comes to breast cancer because you can do it yourself, you can do it at home, you don't need to go to the doctor. We also spoke to a breast cancer survivor, Pili Swama Zikwana, who was diagnosed at 25 years old. She says young people must understand that you can get cancer at any age. I was diagnosed with no family history, so no one in my family has any source of to say that somebody was once diagnosed with breast cancer or any sort of cancer in the family. I am a professional nurse by profession, so I do get exposed to to people that are dealing with what I went through and it was a nice thing and a blessing also because then it made me be aware of what I should expect at that younger time to age. So when I was diagnosed in 2013, it was just a few days before my birthday turning 25 and I was left with the decision that I had to do a mastectomy, which meant that I had to remove my whole breast at that time. Besides, on, not only that, uh, it had spread also to my, some of my lymph nodes. So then I also had to remove some of my lymph nodes off because then of the spread of what it was. And a mistake to me is the total removal of your breast itself. So then I had to remove the whole breast, which I was happy for it because then it meant that I was getting treatment. I would say to that young lady, look at yourself in the mirror and look at why it had to be you. Why do you think that you had to be the one diagnosed with the disease? Because then why it should be somebody else and not you? You know, look at that and then have faith that I'm here as Piliso Masiwana and I made it. And I made sure that I take each and every opportunity out there to educate somebody else to say, you know what, I made it. So if somebody will say, you know what, 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 what do you get out of it? It's, it's the feeling that at the end of the day you fought something that other people struggle with most of the days being diagnosed with breast cancer. For more information on Pink Drive, visit them on Facebook or their website at pinkdrive.co.za or call them on 021-697-5650. I am Busiswa Mahonono for Our City News, Athlone.